Hi everyone, and welcome to Black Cat Scraps. Today is a very special day. Shuri is inventive just like me, and she made a dress for her dolls out of paper towels and ribbon. Shuri was born on the couch at my mother's house, and she was delivered by my husband, Matthew, and on the day of my baby shower. Here's the paramedics. They had carried me down, and I rode an ambulance to the hospital where I delivered my placenta. Alright, so let's get started. I'm marking where I want my buttons to go. I'm using all of her favorite colors, purples and pinks, and I'm sewing on heart-shaped buttons. This shirt is one part of her birthday surprise. Last night I decorated the entire hallway and her door with crepe paper in purple and pink and I also slipped in a couple balloons in her room while she was sleeping so she's super excited to see her, all of her balloons I will probably do a follow up on uh, her ecstaticness alright so here's a metal um, die cut of the word love and I'm adding it to a chain link and I'm just sewing it on and I also attached the chain to the word love with a mini keychain link. Alright, and on both sides I'm adding little charms. Um, these are ponies or unicorns. And she loves crowns, she's such a princess, so I'm adding a crown to the top here. This actually used to be a brad. And I'm using my slice <laughs> mat to keep a, have a nice flat surface. And I'm using this ribbon to find halfway, just so I know exactly where it is, so I can make a reference when I'm stamping. Now this is stays on black ink, and I'm using a stamp set by Recollections. And then I'm going to stamp the S one more time to finish off the word. Alright, and this stamp set is by Inka Dinka Doo. And she's got two I's in her name and there's only one I in the stamp set. So I figured it would be better to have the I on the end. And then I would fill in where I wanted it. and I'm using black fabric paint I like to call it puffy paint and I'm just gonna go over all the stamped image just so it looks cleaner and I'm definitely gonna add some rhinestones And I'm not going to fill in all of the black. It's alright if some of it shows. I'm just going to go through and cover up some of it. Accent off some of the letters. And again, I'm going to use all of her favorite colors of purples and pinks. If you haven't tried this type of um, technique on fabric, it's really fun to do. I highly recommend it. 
All right, so after I've done with all the painting, I do put rhinestones all over the wording, and you'll probably see it in photos. And here's a cookie cutter in the shape of a princess slipper. Shuri absolutely loves Cinderella in her princess slipper. So I'm going over with a white, and I'm filling in that sparkled area, and I just fill that all up with gemstones. Now this fabric, I just call it tutu fabric. So there's tutu fabric, and it's um, probably twice as long as the shirt, and I'm marking it, or pinning it, on the both ends, on the sides of the shirt and halfway of the the fabric. So I'm finding halfway of the fabric there and pinning it in the center of the shirt. That way, all the, in between all the pins, there'll be the same amount of tutu fabric. So I'm doing it again. I'm finding halfway here, and then I'm pinning it. And then I found halfway in between all the other things. And right in here, in between them, I am pleating it towards the centers. And then pinning them. And in a more detailed version, finding center and then pleating them so that they're even. And then I do this all the way around in between all of the pins so that all of my tutu fabric lays flat. And I've got some iridescent purple thread and I'm using a zigzag stitch all the way across the bottom to sew on my tutu fabric. So I have attached with pins some elastic cord and I made sure that it was in the center of the shirt and I'm stitching it on with another uh, stitch of zigzag. And I'm pulling it tight on both ends while I'm sewing. That's what that looks like. And then I'm covering it up with ribbon. She loves ribbon and bows and having her bows tied in the back so I'm just using a regular straight stitch and I'm sewing the ribbons on the side seams as well as to a strip on the top and the bottom of the ribbon. Now I'm using um, craft paint in black and p hot pink and I'm using a Making Memories foam stamp and I'm going crazy stamping here. Right, and then a bigger heart where her heart is. And I'm adding different kinds of ribbon that I've tied in bows. And I'm adding it all over the tutued fabric. And then I'm also adding um, pink bows on pink buttons. So I'm sewing both on at the same time. And then on the ribbon here, I'm adding pink or purple flowers that I found at the Michaels in the bridal section. And I thought I would do another princess slipper on the front. And this I'm actually going to make look like a birthday cake. I have some little button um, character candles that I'm going to attach with puffy paint um, as if the slipper was a birthday cake like such and I'm going to add some little hearts And of course, the number four for my four-year-old.
Thanks everyone for watching. Have a great day. I will have pictures on my blog of Shuri in her birthday shirt. I'm sure it's probably going to get filthy by the end of the day, but that's what she does. At least the food's no longer on the table because she's got her placemat. <laughs>